I got my A plus certification. You need to go out there and pay me $75,000 right now. That's probably not going to happen. All right, let's talk about credibility and validation. IT certifications, they can provide you with credibility, meaning you got certification. We can go pull it up on the website and see that it's all good. And it's all good, right? They can act as evidence for your skills and proficiency, meaning, hey, you got this certification, you got this piece of paper or this PDF file, whatever you're presenting. This proves that, hey, you at least understand the theoretical stuff. It doesn't necessarily always prove you know how to actually do everything because there are people that'll go out there and just download a, a bunch of test banks, study the questions and answers and go out there and pass the cert. The certification is supposed to prove that you at least know the theoretical stuff and you can apply that theoretical stuff, hopefully, to the practical application so you can go out there and get busy. They can also enhance your professional credibility by 95% and validate your specialized knowledge by 98%. So your professional credibility by 95%, once again, you're going out there applying for a job, you say, hey, I'm A plus and Network Plus certified, put it on your resume and you come to the job interview and you got the damn certification in your hand. Well, guess what? Your credibility just went up 95%. Now the other 5%, that could be a matter of, did you actually study this or did you just study a bunch of questions and answers and pass the test. That's, that's where that 5% comes in. And then it can validate your knowledge by 98%. Once again, assuming you went out there and studied this stuff and passed it, you understand the theoretical stuff 98%. I, I guess that's what that's saying. Maybe I'm wrong on that stat. I don't know. But regardless of what the heck I'm trying to say is get certified. That's the most important thing. Go out there, get certified, put it on your resume, go out there and stun on people on LinkedIn. Cause you know, on LinkedIn, every time somebody gets certified, they got to tell the whole world, Hey, I got certified. They get like a thousand thumbs up, right? But they can post a picture of them helping um, feeding the homeless or saving a, an old lady from getting hit by a car. Nobody will like the picture. But you post that dog on certification on LinkedIn, everybody and their mama is going to like your picture on LinkedIn. So get your certification so you can get your likes up on LinkedIn is what I'm trying to tell you. all Better marketability. Certifications whose applicants drive to achieve. I think I wrote that all wrong. I think, well, what am I trying to say on that first line? Certifications whose applicants drive to achieve as well. I must have been drinking when I wrote this. I think what I was trying to say is those who get certifications, those applicants tend to show that they have some type of drive to achieve getting certified as well as a commitment to the profession. I think that's what I was trying to say in that bullet point. Basically, if you sit down and study for a certification, often Oftentimes, that's a lot of information that you're trying to learn. So if you can sit down, put yourself on some type of schedule to study it and go get certified, well, that shows that you have some type of drive to achieve that goal because getting a certification isn't easy for a lot of people. For some people, it comes easy, but for the majority of us, to include myself, it can be a little challenging to where we actually have to sit down and dedicate time to actually learn and try to comprehend and master that information. We can also validate your knowledge and skills during the interview process. So when you guys go out there and do job interviews, there's a 99.99% chance the person interviewing you is going to ask you questions about either your certification in terms of asking you certain questions that are related to that cert, or they're going to ask you questions related to the job that they're trying to hire you to do. So if you can pass a certification, and especially if that certification has relevant information that is directly related to the things that you're trying to get hired to do, and you know how to answer those questions, that'll just up the odds of you uh, hopefully landing that job. And then having the right certifications can make the the difference between landing your job. So once again, you out there applying for a job, remember you're not the only person applying for that job. There's probably a hundred, two, three, four, five hundred 500 people applying for that job. Now, if you don't have a certification and this person over here has a certification, there's a higher chance that the certified person is going to get hired or at least get their resume looked at before yours gets looked at just off the strength that they have the certification listed and you don't. Once again, go get certified so you can make yourself more marketable. Let's talk about justifying your costs. So certifications, they can justify your cost to employers or clients and that can lead to you possibly commanding a higher salary for being certified. Now, this isn't always the case. So I don't want a lot of you guys out there thinking, I got my A plus certification. You need to go out there and pay me $75,000 right now. That's probably not going to happen. 
Now, what normally tends to happen is you walk into a job interview, you got X amount of experience and you got relevant certifications for that role. Then you could possibly go in there, quote unquote, demanding salaries, which is when I say demanding, I'm really talking about negotiating for salaries. Let's just say, I don't know, you've been working in tech for 10 years. You got a A plus, net plus, security plus, CEH, uh, certified ethical hacker, some other cybersecurity certifications. And then they're talking about, hey, we want to hire you for this cyber analyst role. And then you know the market, uh, you know what the going rate is for somebody with your experience. You know, okay, I, I at least need to get paid $130,000 to do this role. And they come in there and talk about, well, we're only going to pay you $65,000. you probably going to look at these people like they don't lost their damn mind. It's like, why in the world would I come in here with all my experience, my illustrious resume, and my beautiful certifications, and you talking about you finna pay, you finna offer me a job for sixty five thousand when I know damn well this job is where I'm at is worth over a hundred something thousand dollars. You know, you can be in a position to be like, I don't need y'all. I'm gonna go find somewhere else to work, or you can really get in there and be like, Nah, we need to redo these numbers real quick. Now, if you're coming off the block with just the A plus network plus, and you only got like six months experience or whatever, six months or less or whatever, you can't really go in there trying to flex and stun on people talking about what you want because you really haven't earned the right to kind of demand what you want. But regardless of all that, you should still go out there and get certified because once you do find yourself in this position, you got enough experience with the matching search, you can put yourself in a position to do some salary negotiations for what you think you should be paid based off of your experience educations and certifications. Also, this can help you uh, possibly get promoted. But when it comes to promotions, that means that the company has some extra money lying around. They got some money in the budget somewhere that they need to spend. And some of that money might need to be allocated towards giving somebody a promotion or bumping their salary up. So one of the fastest ways you can figure out, well, who needs to get promoted? Let's just figure out who got certified, who's out there actually doing the job and got the certifications. You might be the first person that we look at to, hey, we're going to give you a promotion and we're going to bump your salary up. So keep that in mind.